Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will discuss about the newly released media player for Windows 11 which honestly is becoming one of the best media players out there. For those who haven't heard about it yet, Windows 11 is launched with a new media player which has a completely new design and it's much more improved on probably all the levels possible. But these new features we are talking about are only present in the dev builds that just released a couple of days ago, more specifically the build 22598. But without further ado, let's just jump into the new features that were added in the Windows 11 media player with the latest dev build release. So on the first impression, right after opening the app, there's a very familiar feeling that I get. And of course, it's this transition to the new Windows 11 style with its modern looks and rounded edges and a completely different structure than what I've been used to in the previous media player. On the left pane we have a pretty simple menu that splits our media in two parts, music library and video library, followed by another section that has a play queue and of course the playlists which contain your favorite stuff. Ok, so let's check the music library menu. So upon clicking on it you can see that it looks quite cool with three new ways of organizing slash seeing your music into songs, albums and artists. That's super cool because it can make it easier for you to search a specific album or a specific song or even search for an artist altogether. In the same time the songs are arranged alphabetically either by artists, by album or in the specific order of the release years. Another cool thing is that when you hover over a song for example you'll see that two elements will appear for faster playback. The play button and a checkbox which you can click on to further manage the song. You can add it to a playlist, you can even clear it from the list or you can find out more information about it. Now let's say we want to go to the main title of this song, so if you click on the lower title side of the app, this takes us to a new slide which hides a few cool features. So right click on an empty space in that window and you'll see that a context menu will appear which contains quite a few options. Besides the usual information options about the song, we have an equalizer, song speed and the cast to device options. So let's just start with the equalizer. This equalizer is spread on 9 bands of frequency and you have plenty of ways to fiddle with it. You can move any of these slides individually or you can have a magnetic effect which happens when the nearby slides also move but at lower intensities. Of course you also have a few presets which are worth trying to get the best out of your music. Moving on to the speed option, you can choose to speed up your music or slow it down but probably this works better for videos because there's not so much of a point slowing down your music. Lastly, the cast device is pretty obvious. You can simply cast it to your TV or even your sound system for more depth of use but it's quite cool that we have this feature now directly in the media player. Moving on to the video library, the media player got even better at supporting video formats and now it includes even MKV file formats and other quirky formats that were previously unavailable. When clicking on this category on the left panel, we can see that the library is a bit different than the music one, with big preview pictures for all the video sections which can also be sorted either alphabetically or by the date modified option. So, if we click on a video, we are being taken to the main playback screen. And again, if you right click on this screen, you will get the same context menu as from when playing a song, but with one additional setting. And that's the video settings option, which contains three more elements when hovering over it. Rotate video, zoom to fill, and the video enhancements, which are quite interesting. These video enhancements allow us to adjust the brightness and the contrast of the video in real time. But as you can see, because this feature is super fresh as being part from the latest dev build update, it might not work properly. Also, if you tick the box next to show advanced options, you will get two more settings, saturation and hue, which can make your video more vibrant or change its color completely. Other than that, the media player is quite easy to use with simple navigation. Combined with all these new features, it might just become the default player once again without having to opt out for third party software. So what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.